Hello, digital artist. Today, we're going to do a drawing lesson. We're going to talk about drawing the human figure here. So we're talking about uh, proportionally drawn figures. So we're going to start off. So I'm going to try to combat anybody who says, I can only draw stick figures. Well, hey, good news. We're going to start with a stick figure. So I am going to just start by drawing a circle. We got a head here. You notice I got some hash marks over here. I'll explain those in just a second. Okay. So we've got a head, got a neck. Let's just draw a line for some shoulders here. And then we are going to just continue a line down. Draw another line for hips. Draw some legs here. All the way down. Like this. We're just going to draw one arm for right now. We'll draw a second one. Okay. So there we have a stick figure, right? Now, even with your stick figure, you can make him kind of proportionately, even with just a stick figure. So these lines I got over here, so if we consider this a male figure here, average male is about six and a half to seven to eight heads tall. In other words, if I took my head and stacked it up seven tall, I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven here. That's about proportionally about how I would be breaking up this body here, okay? A female figure is going to be a little smaller. It's going to be about, you know, six to seven heads, you know, depending. That being said, everybody is different, and there are all kinds of different body types, okay? So, I'm just talking about real basic uh, guidelines here. All right, so we've got the head here, and we've got the neck. So let's start filling this out with some basic shapes, okay? Our body is not a line. We've got uh, a filler. We've got a rib cage and a belly and hips in here. So let's do a rib cage. Now, the simple, just going from this line here, just going to draw a circle real light. I make another circle, okay? And then draw a curve inside of it. You've got a real basic rib cage there, all right? Coming down here. Now you've got a pelvis, okay? If I just draw a couple circles here and then connect those with a line, I've got a simple pelvis there. Okay? Alright. Now coming down here, let's talk about legs. Alright. Legs coming down. You're going to have from the hip straight down to the ankle is going to be split right in two. It's going to be about where the knee is. Okay? Then you got the ankle and you've got a foot. So let's just draw some triangles for some feet here. And we'll draw a leg. We're just going to make a simple lobe circle here. And just a narrow lobe here. Same thing over here. This one's going to mock. I'm going to draw a simple lobe here. Another lobe here. And then we'll draw a wider angle for that. Okay. All right, over here we have the arms, okay? Now, if you hold your elbow up to your rib cage, your elbow hits right about where your bottom rib is. So if you use that as a measurement, you can kind of put these arc lines in right here, okay? Another one you can do is right here about mid through the thigh. If you stand up and hold your hands down, most people's fingertips hit right about the thigh. So that gives you two measurements that you can go. So we'll go from the shoulder here, We'll draw a line, coming down, we'll draw a lobe here, we're going to draw another lobe here, and we'll just draw a triangle for a hand for right now. Again, this is guidelines. Some people's fingers are longer, some people's arms are longer, some people's wingspans are longer. We're just talking really simple here. I drew this arm like this. Usually if you hold up your arm to your shoulder, you notice that about the middle of your palm to lower palm is going to line up with your shoulder here. So that gives you another line about where that should be. So if I put the wrist about there, draw another triangle there. So now I've got a basic male figure here. Okay. So now I'm going to go and I'll switch colors here so we can start filling this out. Okay. So I've just kind of used these lobes simple shapes again we started with the egg shape for the head drew a couple lines for the shoulders and a pelvis point and then measured for our knees arms elbows and uh, wrist. ok 
Okay. Now, people are not angular. People are very soft and squishy things. Um, we are very round and soft and doughy in parts. You know, we've got some bony parts, but for the most part, we are not. Okay. So we are going to do another tutorial just talking about heads and faces. So for right now, we're just going to take that head and we're going to take a center line right down the center. And again, bisect it right down the center for right there. And we'll stop there. All right, let's talk about how the shoulder line goes. On a male, it's going to come down and just roll right off. Just cascade right over. Okay. And we're going to come just... Follow the line of your rib cage you made. Men tend to have narrower hips and kind of fall right in line with the width of their chest. Coming straight down, you're going to come to the knee. Following that lobe, it gets narrow at the ankle, winds back up. And with feet, I like to do just in a front view, just knock out where that big toe is. Don't worry about the rest of the toes. Just draw a triangle and knock out that notch right there where the big toe is. And you kind of can line up the rest of them. All right. This foot's turned this way. So we're going to show a side view of the calf here. But it's very similar. It's going to come down. just start with a triangle for right now okay legs come together let's draw that all right again the elbow is going to be right there where we made our little swing arm bring those out come down and we're just going to do again just show where the thumb is with the triangle this arm right here now when you look at your wrist one view of your wrist sideways, it's going to be very narrow, and one view of your wrist is going to be wider because there's two bones in there. So here it's going to be narrower. And a side view, depending on which position the hand is in, is going to tell you how you're going to actually see the wrist. All right. So there's that. Let's switch back here and we'll do a female character. Female character is going to be a little shorter. One, two, three, four, five, six. About six, six and a half heads for female, seven to seven and a half for male. Okay, so we're going to start again. Same thing. We're going to just draw an egg shape, a neck, some shoulders, straight down, some legs. I'm going to go straight down, just put a triangle on the bottom. Like that. Okay. Throw some quick lines up for arms. There we have. All right. Again, we're going to do the same process. We're going to go in, we're going to draw a rib cage by making a larger egg shape where the chest cavity is going to be. Draw inset right there to make that rib cage shape females tend to have wider hips so your hips are going to be slightly wider than the males they're going to line up pretty much with thing these are very generalized things because everybody has very different body types some females are very curvy and have very hourglass figures and some are very boxing door shaped and some are tall some are thin some are squat so everybody comes in different shapes so coming down again, this mark here, halfway down to the bottom of the ankle. I'm going to knock that in half. That's about where the knee should go. This one over here is going to follow the same. Coming through here, make those pivot points off the arm. It's about where your elbows will be. This length is going to be about the same in the middle. Triangles for hands. Triangles with your hands. All right. Now the same thing. We're going to switch off and we're going to come in here and quickly fill out our female body. Again, neck comes down. Neck's less wide than 
the head unless they're a power lifter or something. Cascade over the shoulders. Follow your rib cage. And then again, the hips are going to be a little bit wider on a female. Again, just triangle very quickly in. Notch out where the big toe is going to be. Oops. Turn my paper here a little bit here. Remember, drawing is all about noticing what is right and what is needs to be corrected. Coming over here for our arms. There we have two basic human figures. Okay. All right. So you're going to practice at home and see how you do. And we'll pick this lesson up in our next tutorial.